For centuries, big game hunters risked death to bag top predators in South Africa. But increasingly, wealthy tourists choose a much easier and safer way to kill their trophy. And it's big business. The lion these men are pursuing is not a wild animal, nor is it roaming free in the wild. It has been hand-reared in captivity purely for the purpose of being shot, and it is released into a fenced enclosure where it is killed as a trophy. This practice is entirely legal, and it's known as canned hunting. In five years to 2006, 1,830 lion trophies were exported from South Africa. In the five years to 2011, 4,062 were exported. That's a 122% increase. But where do these lions come from? The vast majority are tame animals bred on commercial farms. There were 160 of these farms in South Africa. One, Morrison Ranch, advertises on its website that you can hunt lions. So we paid it a visit. <laughs> Hello, you're gorgeous. I love the little they're really pretty, You can see why the tigers are popular, because they're very pretty, aren't they? Yeah, and you don't see cubs, tiger cubs every day, that's the thing. That's for sure, yeah. The first way lion farms like Morrison Ranch make money is when tourists pay to pet and feed the lion cubs. But animal welfare charities are critical of how these tamed animals are removed from their mother within an hour of being born. You've got four um, brand, brand lion cubs here, three Bengal tiger cubs and two and white, two lion white cubs. lions. Yeah. And this is where they've spent the first part of their lives. Basically the first four months, yeah. yeah. From um, seven weeks, uh, we take them from town where we've bottle fed them from about two hours, three hours after we've taken them from the mother. Yeah. It's in the instinct, instinct to be wild and so, and if we don't treat them or play with them while they're young and then don't get used to people, they won't survive. Most of the tourists who visit lion farms are unaware that the cubs they are petting grow up to be shot dead by trophy hunters. Even though the Morrison Ranch website advertises the hunting of lions, manager Marika van der Merwe is cagey when asked what her adult lions are used for. Obviously a big issue in South Africa is the whole canned hunting. Oh, the canned hunting, yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you sell your lions on to be hunted as well? No, no, we, no not really. We, um, not really, we don't do that. Um, we sell them to other lion uh, 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 people that got the permit for uh, for lions. Yep. Um, what they do with the lions is up to them. So we don't know what they do with the lions, but we don't do the canned lion hunting or, or, or anything like that. that. That isn't your problem, really. What they decide to do with the lions? No, no. It's it's all. Um, not we are business. Hmm. So um, what we do is we sell them to people but uh, we don't hunt themselves. Yeah, no. yeah. Um, I was talking earlier, and obviously we saw, saw on your website that there is an option that I could come here as a, as a trophy hunter from Britain and, mm. and hunt a lion. At least it says on your website that, uh, that I could. Um, so that would I'm, be a I'm lion I'm not that sure that it said that on the right. website, uh, because we don't, we don't hunt the lion on, on mm. yeah, by us. We, we sell to people that maybe would hunt lions, but um, we don't hunt them. You don't but hunt them on, if they've on got a permit uh, for to, to breed lions or to have lions, um, what they do with the lions is up to them. Since our visit, Morrison Ranch has changed its website to remove its invitation to hunt lions. The situation for the lions in South Africa is a, is a tragedy. There are more lions for being killed 
than in nature in, in the wild. Kent hunting situation doesn't have anything to do with normal hunting, where people go and shoot an animal maybe with a, uh, for a special situation for the nature, whatever. It is just to have a trophy at home, to have a, a head of a, of a, of a lion uh, hanging from the wall and other things. This is, I think, really a, a behavior which shouldn't take place in the sanctuary anymore. Animal welfare groups and conservationists argue that a live lion is worth more than a dead one. One man attempting to prove that is lion whisperer Martin Quinn, who is running a tourist attraction on Morrison Ranch called Walking with Lions. You really get a little sense doing something like this of how they might live in the in the bush. This is exactly what it's all about. This is mm. the education. Um, you can, I, I, we can go to a zoo tomorrow and you'll see the lions sitting in a zoo behind a fence and they'll lie there and hey, that's what you see. Um, come on, let's go. Uh, uh. Canned hunting in South Africa is, 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 a, is a big problem. Part of my mission is to educate the, the farmers that own lions that basically the bottom line is that line is worth more to you, alive, than, than dead. Come on! Come on! So I, I, I was saying, I suppose, I imagine one good defence of canned hunting might be that if you're going to come here, trophy hunter from North America or from Europe, if you're going to come here and shoot a lion, better to shoot a lion that's been reared in captivity than to shoot a wild lion. Again, it's a, it's a very, it's a very uh, uh, emotional subject. Mm. Um, the way the hunting, canned hunting industry in, in, in this part of the world has, has evolved is, is very wrong. Okay? Um, basically, it's a case of you, you, you're breeding lions uh, for hunting and the sport of that hunt is non-existent. To me, as a hunting, uh, 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 as a hunting in the true sense of the word, it doesn't, uh, doesn't gel at all, not at all. Despite the efforts of people like Martin Quinn, animal charities say that lion walking won't be a panacea and the breeding farms still depend primarily on selling their lions to be shot. Even the Morrison Ranch, who are working with Martin on his pilot project, are skeptical about its financial viability. Could, could Martin's walking on the wild side, the walking with the lions, mm -hmm. could, could the money that that generates ever, ever match the money that you would make from selling on the lions? I don't really think so, uh, uh, because it's, it's, uh, it's, our, it's our lions, but it's their business. So we only get a percentage of the walk with the lions. If the government of South Africa banned canned hunting, for example, mm -hmm. would that put you out of business? Would there be no one to buy the um, lions? I, I, I think it would be probably not good for us, be, although we don't sell to, uh, we, we don't do the shooting ourselves, but uh, I don't think, I think it would be a problem for us, because there's a lot of people from overseas coming to shoot uh, lions, well, all the people know that you come to Africa to, to shoot the lion, or to have a mount against your wall to say, I've shot the lion. An attempt by the South African government to regulate canned hunting in a way that would have effectively banned it was defeated by lion farmers in the High Court in 2010. So if the South African government can't stop it, perhaps those in Europe and North America calling for a ban on canned hunting should look closer to home. Can we stop the demand in any way? Can we stop those trophy hunters from Europe and North America coming here to shoot lions? Is there anything that we can do as Europeans? We must have some responsibility for that. Yeah, we do have a lot of responsibility because uh, the hunters are coming from overseas. They're not here from South Africa and they pay thousands or tens of thousands of euros to kill these animals. And if, if, if we make clear in Europe that this is not hunting, this is a tra tra tragedy what's going on there, I think then we can go on the, to, to tell this to the public and to make it public what's going on there, that uh, people uh, don't do this, this uh, can't hunting anymore.